there are few people that know the shifting borders between Israel and the West Bank better than Khalil Tufakci. The strategy of the settlement, it's impossible to build a Palestinian continuity between the north, middle to the south. Since 1981, Tufakci has been drawing maps with settlements that have been used in negotiations between the Israelis and the Palestinians. This is the old city. Bethlehem is not far from here. You see here is Har Huma, Gilo, Gibat Hamatos. If it was normal, how long does it take to get from there to Bethlehem? Uh, normally it's between 10 until 15 minutes. But if they, now if we, what we call it by bus road, if you want to go to the Bethlehem now, by uh, old city without any checkpoint, it's necessary to go to the east and return back to the south and return back to the west. It takes sometimes one hour, one and two or three hours. Hahoma is one of 156 Israeli government-sanctioned settlements in the occupied West Bank and East Jerusalem. All are illegal under international law. The population of Hahoma is about 17,000, but the local council has got plans to build homes for up to 40,000 people all the way along into what is privately held Palestinian land. It belongs to Palestinians who live just over there in Bethlehem. They've been walled off from this land for about the last 17 years, not even allowed in to harvest olives. Only Palestinians with permits to cross into Israeli-controlled parts of the occupied West Bank can take the usually quicker routes between their town. To the realities on the ground, add Israel's ruling coalition that seems to be moving further away from a two-state solution and a new pro-settlement US ambassador. Um, one of the parties in the coalition that seems to be gaining strength um, is the, the Jewish home, the, the right-wing pro-settlement party. And their leader, Naftali Bennett, has said that after January the 20th, he's going to make a big effort with annexing uh, Maled Umim, which is a, a large city in the, in the West Bank. While a Palestinian state is an aspiration and the Israeli government says it's committed to the principle, Palestinians seem powerless to seeing it become a reality. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, in the occupied West Bank.